What's up guys, it's Dragonfly Mike 77 I know I said I was going to be taking a break from reviews, and I, I kind of am, but the guys at Lou Lava contacted me, and they wanted me to try out their new extender for their act for the hoses, and... <laughs> guys at Blue Lava, I really like their product, and I I just like doing reviews for them, I, th I think they're a good company. So I said yes, and I've only had this for, I think, like two days, and I have been smoking, so I've been trying it out, but without further ado, let's get an up-close look of what this actually looks like. So I have the hose disassembled, here is the extender, right here, so you can see. It's got a nice design to it. it. Comes in a little bit, comes back out, goes in. Keep this in focus. And that's where you actually put it into the hose. And I do have it completely taken apart. Sometimes that can going to be a little bit of a pain to get in there. There we go. Just like that. And I noticed with when I first like screwed this on, the threads were a little tight, but they do loosen up over time, and that's the extender. I mean, you don't even need to necessarily put that on there, but and then this part just screws on. And and the only thing with the extender for me is I do like the way it looks but if you guys can see this one doesn't screw in flush and that I, I kinda wish that it did with how well these are machined I really would like to see that this screws in a little better if I unscrew it and I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see there's not enough threads and that's why it doesn't screw in this has four rows and on the inside it only has three so when I put it in there no matter what I do I can't make it flush and that's the only thing about it that I, I, I wish could be changed and when it comes to the size as you can see in my hand it is much bigger I can hold it like that or you can grip it you get a nice handle on it I know that a lot of people wanted a longer handle and that's what you have alright I'll flash back to smoking and let's just take a couple poles so you guys can see the airflow on it the draw on it is good in my earlier review I said I didn't really mind the restricted draw on it and I didn't think it was that restricted I'm not smoking nearly as much as I used to and I've been just using my Nijum hose for the most part and I actually did notice that this is a little bit restricted. I don't... It's something I didn't really notice in the past too much, but I feel like this is on... This is a little wider gauge than my custom hose, which my custom hose is pretty restricted, but that's alright because of what I use it to smoke with. But I do notice that it's a little restricted. I, again, don't really mind that too much. I, I think that, you know, you get to a point with the gauge of a hose if it gets too big too much air mixes in with the smoke and it, it you get big clouds but that kind of diminishes the flavor a little bit the flavor I get with this is absolutely phenomenal I think it transfers really well and when it comes to how it actually feels in your hand now I got pretty used to the shorter handle and I didn't mind that I thought it was nice and light as I said by far this is the best travel hose you can get. I will be taking another international trip in 2014 during the summer. This is the hose I'm going to bring with me. I already know that. If if I travel, Blue Lava is what I take with me. It, it does feel comfortable in the hand. As you can see, I, I pretty much hold it like that. It may take you a, a little bit getting used to it because it is a thinner handle, which again, I don't mind. I think it I can grip that and I still have a lot of hose left, a lot, a lot of the uh, mouth tip left. So I do like it a little bit as I stated when I was showing it up close. 
it doesn't really screw in flush on this one and that kind of does bother me a little bit but I still think it functions very well it is comfortable to hold since I was used to the smaller handle that's what I got used to it it took me a day to kind of get used to this I kept on grabbing it up here and holding it like this because that's what I was used to but I am very pleased with it I'm not sure the the price on these yet and the packaging I'm not sure either it was just wrapped up in some bubble wrap and sent to me I am curious to find out I haven't done this yet as I said you don't even need this on here but Probably my favorite thing about the extender is the fact that despite it being a separate piece, it still fits on with everything you already have. And because of that, I feel like if Lou Lava wanted to kind of expand and change up the way the mouthpieces are, they would be able to do that, but you wouldn't have to buy a bunch of new things. You wouldn't have to buy a brand new hose. You could just buy different parts for the hose, which is nice because it doesn't force you to actually sit there and go, oh, i got to get a new hose, and then I have to change it out. I like the fact that it's interchangeable. If I have multiple Lulavas, it's going to fit in there. It's, it's very nice. Now, something I did want to talk about, and I've been getting into, not getting into, but I've been noticing machining a lot lately, and that partially is because of e-cigs. I noticed this is finished really well. It's got a nice even turn from it. You don't really see the turn marks on it. It's got a nice just cover to it. The aluminum is nice and sturdy. It's got a nice weight to it. It's not too heavy. It's not too light. It is a little top heavy from holding it. Again, that doesn't bother me, but it's just something that I noticed. Overall, I'm very satisfied with this. Something I did want to touch on, and one of the reasons that I like Lulava and some of the companies that you kind of guys kind of notice that I mention a lot, I think that every I won't say every. Most of the reviews I watched about the Lulava, everybody said they would like a longer handle. And I don't know if Lulava was planning on doing this anyway, but to me, they heard what people were saying and they did something about it. They wanted to improve their product. They wanted to say, hey, okay, you know, people said that the handle was a little shorter, so let's build something so people can still enjoy their Lulava hose but have that nice long handle. I like that a lot. It shows that they don't just send things to get review and kind of get some good PR. They actually listen to what reviewers have to say, and I really like that about them. I think that's all I got. I'm going to take one more poke. Good flavor. Yeah, absolutely excellent. I do like it a lot. I do have a question for you guys. Even though I am taking a break, I am working on a few things with my channel. Just It's secret. But I do want to ask, since the e-cig world is kind of becoming pretty popular right now, especially in a lot of hookah smokers, do you guys want me to do some e-cig reviews and put them on this channel? Or would you, would you rather have me make a new channel so they're actually separate? I'm not sure about, I don't know what I want to do on that, but I'd like your input on that as well. So with that, please comment, like, and subscribe, and as always guys, peace out.